pipi so I want to cope my hindi mo. I want so my wife you if your mind must be stationed on God. The Bible says that He will give them a perfect rest, a perfect peace whose mind is stationed, an awareness, consciousness, an awareness, consciousness. There is a conscious life of the spirits. There is a life of the spirit. Once you are in the kingdom of God, there is a way you live. There is a way you think. I'm going to speak it to myself. Hello. Are you here? So the question now you should ask yourself is this. So what am I missing? I have come to realize that most of us, what we are missing in life is this. We are not allowing ourselves to be led by the Spirit or to be taught by the Spirit. Because once you become poor king, God come to us inside of you. The Spirit of God is right inside of you. The Holy Ghost is in you. Say the Holy Ghost in me. Say the Holy Ghost in me. The Holy Ghost is in you. Once the Holy Ghost in, in you, that means he has a special ministry to do. The other day, the Bible said that David was so, David didn't want to miss anything about the kingdom, anything about the glory. He knew that there was something. He knew that there was something glorious awaiting for him. He knew that he was submitted, subjected to God. So he said, God, order my steps. Psalm 119 verse 133. He said, God, order my steps. God, order my steps. God, order my steps. Let not any iniquity have dominion over me. God, order my steps. Let no iniquity have dominion over me. Once you miss the leading, the teachings of the Spirit of God, you are subjected to iniquity in your life. Are you here with me? Psalm 137, verse 23. He said, For the ways of the righteous man, the steps of the righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Do you understand this scripture? A man who is led by the Spirit, a man who is in the kingdom of God, you must avail yourself of the teachings of the Spirit. Once your spirit is attuned with the Spirit of God, your life is ordered by the Lord. Ah, for the step of a righteous man. Can you go to Psalm 20? Sorry, Psalm 37, verse 23. I love it. It says, for the step of a good man. For the steps of a good man. Marado shabala la baraba. Oh. What is wrong this morning? Shout thank you, Jesus. Okay. Let me open it to mine. Who is operating the console? Who is operating it? Okay. Psalm 20, Psalm 37, verse 23. He said, But said, the steps of a good man, the steps of a good man, are ordered by the Lord. Do you understand this scripture? Do you? Now, when, once you are in the kingdom of God, you are, and you avail yourself to the special teachings of the Spirit of God, you are all shared into the place of goodness. How? Because the Spirit of the Lord order your steps. You are ushered into the place 
of goodness. And in that goodness, no iniquity have dominion over you. Are you here with me? Follow me very carefully. Because today, when you miss this revelation, you are going to miss it forever. Hello? Because enough of all the hustling and tussling. There is a key that the Holy Spirit revealed to us. I said, Father, I have missed this. I have missed this. I have missed this. I have missed. As the person decided that, are your ways ordered by the Lord? Are your steps ordered by the Lord? What the person say? As the person, are you sure? What is the person saying? What is the person saying? So, there are some of you who are asking that how can, see, how, how is it possible? You have not availed yourself for God. You have not, in fact, you have not freely given yourself. And I'll prove to you how. The proof that you have not freely given yourself to the special teaching of the Spirit of God. That is why there are certain petty, petty mistakes you commit. There are certain doubts you have. Proof that you have never. Because once you accept Jesus, the Holy Spirit come, dwells out of you. Do you understand the Bible says, John chapter, John chapter 14, verse 14. John 14, 14. John 14, 14. And he said, go to 15. 16. Yeah. And I'll pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Hello? So, so underline the word abide with you forever. So the Spirit of the Lord is always with you. Look at something, you know. There is an advantage here. The Spirit of the Lord is with you. Go to 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him but you know him for he dwelleth with you and he shall be in you. So once you accept Jesus as Lord and personal Savior, the Holy Spirit comes live inside of you. He is with you and he is in you. So there is no, if I, you don't have an, even a, an excuse not to excel in life. You don't have a reason. In fact, you have a reason for your failure. Yes. You have a reason for your failure. You don't have a reason why not to pass. You must excel in all things that you do. Do you understand this? Thing? So the Spirit of the Lord dwells with you. He abides with you. And it's also what? He's inside of you. Jump to 26. 26. By the comfort of which the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. The word is teach. Teach. When you are a carrier of the kingdom, it is a must for you to what? To excel in life. Your ways must be ordered by the Lord. Your steps must be ordered by the Lord. You need to be ushered into the place of goodness. You need to be place into the dimension. Do you understand this? You become a conduit of God's goodness. Every place you stand, you must see the glory and the goodness of the Lord. Why? Because she didn't just appear here. She didn't just come here. Someone brought you here. You didn't just decide to say you want to choose this job. You are you are missing a glory because maybe the work you chose, maybe the course you chose, maybe the house you went to stay in, you didn't avail yourself for the spirit of the Lord. You didn't avail yourself. Maybe the relationship that you 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 engage yourself in, the man you marry, the woman you marry, maybe you didn't hear the spirit of the Lord. There is a life in the kingdom. There is a consciousness. There is an awareness. Once you are in the kingdom, your mind is focused on God. Your life is ordered by God. By the special ministry of the spirit of God. Do you understand? Now, go to John 16, 16. John 16, 13. 
He said, how is when he, the spirit of truth is come? He will guide you into all truths. He will guide you. Truth is truth. And truth is reality. Hello. He will lead you into the reality of the authentic life, of the genuine, of the good life. That this is what is good. Choose it. Adipanine choose you. The Spirit of the Lord, how can you be a student and you are doing um, um, C, 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 C? No, no, no. You are already a failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. You are doing C, 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 C. No. You are doing, you are doing um, uh, uh, like, like, how, how? How? Shout how. how. If you are a student and you are doing that thing today, your life changed. I will teach you how to decode the truth. You must walk in certain consciousness. Do you know what? There is an infallible nature of God in us. When I talk about infallible, what I mean is God is faultless. God is, in fact, you cannot identify no wrong. Wrong. Infallible means that he's sure of what he does. He's sure of what he wants. Infallible. Shout infallible. Shout it again. Shout it again. That means there is a perfection. Let nobody deceive you that you cannot live a perfect life. Let nobody deceive you that you cannot live an excellent life. All those things are carnal mentality. Because once... Show me a man who is living a successful life, a peaceful life, a holy life, a righteous life. And I'll show you a man who is living in the kingdom of God. And I'll show you a man who the spirit of the Lord is teaching him. Do this, don't do this. Show me a young girl who is living a glorious life, a peaceful life, even in the... How can the church miss this revelation? You see a young boy doing taste and see the Lord is good. Tasting everything because he wants to find his life partner. You are a failure. A young girl. You accept all manners of proposal. You are a failure. There is an infallible. It always directs us. The, the, the spirit, the nature of God is in us. He always directs us to be sure of what we want. There are people, they'll be like, are you sure you want to do this? Then they get confused. Oh, sure, sir, do we? And no, 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 You've already failed. Because you're not sure. There's an infallible nature of God in us. There's an infallible system of God in us. Once we are in the kingdom of God, once the spirit of God dwells inside of us, once the God of heaven dwells inside of us, once we have Jesus, we must be sure. Christ in me, the hope. You have a hope. There's a hope. You have hope. You are sure of tomorrow. How can you be a Christian and you're not sure of tomorrow? You're not confident of tomorrow. How can you be a Christian? You are not confident. A proof that indeed God, see, if you are living in the kingdom, it doesn't matter what comes your way. It doesn't matter the things that you see. It doesn't matter of the pestilence, the noisome pestilence. It doesn't matter of the trouble storms. You know there's a glory because you are sure of it. So thank you, Jesus. Tell it again. Amen. So, he said, For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak, and he will show you the things to come. When the Spirit of God is inside of you, he's always showing you what to do, what is coming. Kingdom living, kingdom awareness. You are aware 
of what will come tomorrow. You are always aware, you know. You are always aware. There is a consciousness. You are always aware. You know. See, let me tell you something. If you are in the kingdom, you are aware of the ways of God. You are aware of the views of God. You know how to manifest the will of God. How can you be asking yourself, what is the will of God concerning my life? A Christian, what is God's will concerning my life? What is God saying concerning this matter? It is a proof that you have not really allowed the spirit of God to teach you. That is why today, see, it is not, if you have false prophets, we have false members. The proof that you are also false is because that which reveals the truth is not in the person. Neither is in inside of you. That is why you are all walking, going after. The person is a deceiver. Deceiving a deceiver. For a deceiving result. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you here with me? Shout I am. James 1 verse 8, it said, of his own will, he begat, he asked, of his own will. So, there is a will of God concerning our life. There is a will that we must manifest. There is a will, there is an accumulated will that God created you. It's a must. Hello. But there is one thing. When you read First John, chapter 2. Verse 27, I believe. First John chapter 2. Verse 27. Laba do shaba la laba. Say, but the anointing which you have received of him abides in you. Do you understand this? See, this scripture, the Greek word was charis. Charis. Or charisma. From the word charisma. That means it's an it's an inward ability. An ability to do something. But when you read other scripture, the anointing was the spirit. Go to good news. See, but the spirit which you have received. Okay. As, but as for Christ has poured out his spirit on you. As long as his spirit remains in you. You do not need anyone to teach you. Do you get this? You don't need anyone. How can you be in an example? A a child of God who is speaking talks. You are there. Number one, you are there. You are a failure. Number two, number two, number two. Number two. Number two B. You have, you have, you have. What I say? A, B, C, D. I don't even have to. A, B, me in my life. Those things have never worked for me. Obit me, throw up. Somebody can even like commit examination or practice right in his leg, right? He said, but as for you, Christ has poured out his spirit on you. Look at something. He said, he shall abide with what? With you. And he shall be what? In you. But as for you, Christ has poured out his spirit on you. As long as his spirit remains in you. So this is an accumulation of all what John 14, John 16 has said. He said, but as for you, Christ has poured out his spirit on you. As long as his spirit remains in you, you do not need anyone to teach you. You don't 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 need. There is an infallible system of God in you that you don't need anyone to teach you. I would say certain things today. You don't need anyone to teach you. For his spirit teaches you about everything. The things to come, you are conscious of it. Kingdom awareness. And what he teaches you is true, not false. Not false. After this preaching, some of you come to me. I prophet. I was coming to you to confirm. But the spirit has told me this thing. It's true. Hallelujah. Not false. Obey the spirit teaching. The problem is that we are not 
submitting ourselves to the teaching of the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Holy Ghost is not getting the opportunity to lead us, to teach us. Why? Because we are too carnal, selfish. We are too human. Everything is based on our senses. No, 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 no. In Christianity, we deal with spirituality. My spirits, the Bible said the spirit bears witness with our spirits. The spirit leads us. So it doesn't bear spirit, it doesn't bear with witness with our mind. It bears witness with what? With our spirit, not our mind. The mind is subjected to so many things. The mind, Ajeno, subjected. You've not seen a confused person before. Let me tell you something. If you are a man or a woman, one of the dangerous people to ever live with is confused. What the person tells you may dream home, run away. And I say, like, he's not sure of the relationship, but he's just trying. Well, then let's try and work it out. Run away. A confused man or a confused woman can kill you so easily. Out of confusion, he can give you poison to drink. Confused or confused. He doesn't know what he wants. Confusion is an emblem of the devil. The Bible said during the, the days of Babylon, when we're building the, the, the tower, an evil spirit came to confuse them. That is their work. Hallelujah. So any time that you see confusion in a man, in a woman, you know the spirit that is dwelling in them. He doesn't know. Only confusion. Just confusion. He said, obey the spirit teaching and then remain in the union with Christ. You are not a kingdom carrier for fashion. That is why people will say that Christianity is in the heart. It is a life from the what? The pit of hell. How can you live a life different from a royal, the king inside of you? Who is doing you? There is a royal in you that you must dress royal. There is a king in you that you must dress like a king. Look at our dear gentleman here. He, 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 he's just like a king. Clap your hands for Jesus. The way you dress will determine how you are being addressed. If you dress like a king, they address you as a king. If you dress like a prostitute, you'll be addressed like Jezebel. I thank God we don't have those things here. Yeah. I thank God we don't have those things here. And then I'm talking about these people, the ladies, they begin to examine themselves. Hey, me, Anna. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? GD2 said, hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? That's right. Amen. He said, "Be remain in union with Christ. Remain. Kingdom living. There is a life in the spirit. Once you are in the kingdom of God, there is a life you live. There is a mentality you carry. You, you, you are walking with certain consciousness. A consciousness of victory. A consciousness of of success, a consciousness of God. You don't think anything but God. Everything about your life is God. Your life is ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man. What quantifies and qualifies, qualifies the man is the God behind the step. The step of a good man. What makes the man good is the God ordering his step. Show me a man who steps. Do you understand this? The Bible said, when the ways of a when the ways of man please the Lord, he even makes his enemy to be what? Friends with him. 
your enemy will love you by force. They don't have no reason not to love you. They will love you. They, will, they don't have no reason. So when you wake up in the morning, they will bring ten thousand dollars. When they say, do you like the estates? When they say, eh. Eh. even your breathing alone, they'll be like, please, do you need something? Is, is somebody worrying you? Because your ways is pleasing to God. A life in the kingdom. Kingdom living, kingdom awareness. So you see, come to, come to the destiny. So the anointing inside of you, the anointing inside of you, the spirits. Do you understand this? The spirit of God. The spirit of God. The anointing. The anointing. The divine enablement. The anointing. The quickening and the moving spirit of God. It all shall you to do things. There is anointing. There is, a, there is an anointing that is being released by the spirit of the Lord. That always quickens you. That always moves you. To the place of God. Are you here with me? Shout I am. Shout I am. Shout I have God in me. My ways will be ordered by the Lord. My ways will be ordered by the Lord. So the problem we have today is this. There's a problem in the church now. I'm talking about the universal church. We are living in the principles of good and evil. Right or wrong. It is wrong because the infallible nature of God do not know that. Because it, he's sure of what he's going. Hello. That is why today we have in the church the body of Christ people who are always committing petty, petty mistakes. Are you here with me? I must say something. Our, we are living the principles of right and wrong. That is based on our, on our outward code of conduct. Is it good or is it bad? Is it right? Is it wrong? Is it right? Anytime that we want to do something. Anytime that we... we we have to do something. You cannot have the spirit of the Lord draw inside of you. Then you, you are not pet. In fact, you are not certain of what you want to do. You always need to be taught. Since you catch up, say, We are missing something. We are people. Remember, as soon as my member. Member and asthma member. Mem kwa and asthma member. Wear wind shows. That is why you always want us to be telling you, go and wind show. Do you know what this thing means? It means that you are not just Nepios, you are not just babies in Christ. So. It means that you are, you are depriving yourself from the leading of the spirits. You are depriving yourself. From the place of greatness. It means that you are struggling to be great. You're, in fact, you are not sensitive to the things of God. Why is this says so quiet? Lift up your voice, begin to speak in the language of the spirit for one minute. Oh, Jesus. Hinti masumu dadenina wode hutu o mami wonkwa woyo dishi wonkwa woyo hinyo wode hutu o Hinti 
If we get to the place whereby we are, we are, we have availed ourselves to the teachings of the Spirit of the Lord, we will accomplish the will of God. We will manifest the will of God. We will become an epitome of the will of God in our generation. Enough of always trying to be taught. Enough of always trying to dis. You are if you need to be taught. You need to be forced. The reason why the church is not able to get to that epic, that, sorry, that, that, that epi, that utmost, topmost part of the supernatural is always we want to be taught. We want to be, we want to be forced. Then we, are, we want somebody to tell us, rise up before we rise up. Are you here with me? Hello. If you allow ourselves to be taught by the Holy Spirit, to be teach, the special teach of the Holy Spirit, we will accomplish everything in the supernatural. You will always touch God. You, in fact, you will always touch God. You will always touch God. You cannot live a sinful life when your, your, your ways are ordered by the Lord. You cannot live a sinful life. You cannot sin. Let me put this so that you understand. You cannot sin. You cannot touch God when you are sinning. You cannot touch God when you are full of jealousy. You cannot touch God when you are full of envy. You cannot touch God when you are lazy. You cannot touch God when you are angry. Every time you are angry, you cannot touch God when you have an unforgiving heart. You cannot forgive people when they hate you. You cannot touch God. You cannot touch God. Show me a man who easily forgives and I'll show you a man who is always led by the Spirit. Show me a man who is always, always positioned in the will of God. Fulfilling kingdom assignment. And I'll show you a man, I'll show you a woman who is, who is, who is always taught by God. Who is always taught by the Spirit of the Lord. Show me a man in the body of Christ who is, who is manifesting success. And I'll show you what he's doing. Sometimes, you know what? We always run after the process. Sorry, the results. When we see a man of God who is made, we like it. Hey, neither have we come to ask what is the, what process ushered him there. When we see a great man, we run after his greatness. We have forgotten his process. When we see an intelligent person getting all the awards, we don't ask of the process. We are happy with the results. In the process, there is a teaching. In the process, he learned something. In the process, he was led. She was led to do something. Are you here with me? You can't touch God. If you are led by the Spirit of the Lord, you can touch God and manifest His blessings. The reason why most of us be fornicate, most of us we commit adultery, most of us we do all manners of sin because we are not led. We are not led. You cannot touch God. You cannot touch God. Open to Galatians chapter 5, verse 2. Jump to 3. Galatians chapter 5, verse 3. Once more, I want. Sorry. King James. Madaba. For I testify again to every man that is circumstance, that he is a debtor to the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, 
You are falling from the grace. Please come to two. Did you come to two? It's like I think it's jumping, jumping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three. If I testify, now I want you to jump to 13 for me. 13. Walabado Shabada Dadaba. Are you there? Okay. Good. For brethren, you have been called. For brethren, you have been called into liberty. Only use not liberty for an accusation. Use, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. 14. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm -hmm. Let's go. 15. But if you bite and devour one another, take it that ye be not one. Now I want you to jump to 20. Sorry, 19. Or let's go to 18. Because of time. Now the words of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Look at something. No. We want to learn something here. We are going to learn something here. But the words of the flesh are manifest by these. Uh huh. Which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness. Uh huh. 20. Ad idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Envy him, madness, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. See, I wanted to go to Message Bible so that we understand it very well. So I'm going to go to Because I said, Bafono is so big. Go to the, our day thing again. Tonight, the, where we started. Okay. Hello. Watch so carefully. Are you there? It is obvious. What kind of life develops out of trying to get your own way? All the time. Repetitive, 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 loveless, cheap sex, a stinking accumulation of mental and emotional garbage, freeze and joyless grounds for happiness. Trinket gods, magic show religion, magic show religion. Those of you who like magic, who go, who likes to go to churches that likes magic, you are one of them. Paranoid, loneliness, cutthroats, competition, all consuming yet never satisfied wants, a brutal temper, an impotence to love or be loved, divided homes and divided laughs, small minded and loops. Please, now come to the 21. 21 with, um, how do you call it? With KJ version. He said, 21. Envy, madness, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom. Shall not inherit the kingdom. Shall not inherit the kingdom. In the kingdom of God, it's all about God. Every good and perfect gift is in God. Once you inherit the kingdom, you inherit goodness. You inherit perfect gifts from a perfect God. And a perfect gift from a perfect God are released to men and women who take perfection. Are you here with me? Are you here? Now, if you are a kind of Christian that you always want to be taught, not to be led. You miss something. That is why today, we have in our time, there are people who never and ever pay tithes. There are people who are arguing about tithes. Can I tell you something? I had a revelation. 
if you are subjected by the law, you are sub, in fact, you are subjected by the law. But in the New Testament, it's about sharing God, sharing the voice of God. When you share God, you don't need to be forced to be taught. How can a man of God be preaching, tithing for one month because he wants to discipline his members on how to tithe? How can we come here as men of God trying to preach, seed sowing? We shouldn't force you to sow. You should be led to sow because you heard God. If you are tuned with the spirit of the Lord, you don't voice out to give. You give. Because you are a covenant giver. You are a portal of the universe. Of God. To the universe. Your stinginess is as a result of your inability to hear God. In the New Testament, we are not forced in the New Testament, we are led. We hear God's voice. If you're a Christian, the Bible says to be spiritually minded is life and peace. There are people who will be like, okay, there are people who will be like, okay, so how, how, how? Once your spirit says, do it, just do it. There are people who don't hear God. That is why they always have issues. Anytime you discipline them. They don't hear, they don't hear God's voice. So. That is why you, that is why they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, um, how do you call it? They are all prepared about so winning. They don't hear God's voice. They don't hear the voice of God. They are all prepared. They are not bothered. Nothing moves them. Nothing shakes them. The kingdom of God is missing in their life. So nothing about the kingdom moves them. They are, how can you sleep? How can you sleep at the edge? Can I tell you something? This week, I was praying. I was praying. This goes to the woman. I was praying. And I had a trance. And I saw our sisters in the other religion, prophesizing, a Muslim, prophesizing. When I woke up, the Spirit of the Lord told me that there's going to be a move of the Spirit in this end time. And in this move, women are going to take the mantle. Do you not understand this? And it's not going to be limited to the church. People, even in the other religion, but they are prophesizing. It is a proof that they have had an encounter with Elohim. And I knew that God is after something. Let's watch. Don't be surprised if you see a Muslim woman giving you an accurate prophecy. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised when you see, see, there's going to be a strange dimensions of God's power in this end time that women are going to take charge. They are going to do what men does. It is a proof. Gaba la daba. They are going to take the mandate. Children, adults, teens, youth. Men, women who are, who are going to upbuild themselves. God is going to pour out his spirit. In women in these last days. Today we have any time we have a false prophet, you see a man there. False prophet, you see a man. False prophet, you see a man. False prophet, you see a man. In these last days, you are going to hear that there is a woman from the north who is carrying a crazy ocean, causing revival in north. They are going to take charge of the world. Are you here with me? Are you here? Now, if you are led by the Spirit, you are not forced to do something. In the New Testament, it's about the voice of God. And the proof, there are people who have never, never paid tithe. They will tell you, oh, I don't work, I don't do this, I don't do this. It is because they don't hear from God. They are subjected, and there are people to do you know what they do. They say one-tenth, 
I stop giving one term because I am not subjected to the law. The reason why the church is having issues with tithing is because we are still subjected to the law. That is why we say, give one. The one who says, have problems with one tenth. One tenth. But when you share God, when you are led by the Spirit, you see beyond the law. The law teaches us to be one tenth. But in the law of the Spirit of God, we see beyond the systems and structures of the law. Today, we have to force you to tithe. The man of God has to come, sow a seed, sow a seed, to church project, sow a seed. Before you, you are like, okay, should I? Should, should, no. In the spirit, we don't, we are not forced. We are not forced. We hear, we hear. We hear. We hear. How many of you, by the inspiration of the Spirit of the Lord, as heard it so loud and clear, so into the church project. Raise up your hand. See how shame it is. The question is that as men of God, we need to teach you how to hear from God. How to hear from God. In this church, I teach you how to hear from God. That is why sometimes you study, I don't really force people to sow seeds. No one, how many of you has had a conviction to give Bijan the one tenth of his tithes? Raise up your hand. See how shame it is. See how shame it is. You know what we are missing? Our inability to hear the voice of God in our life is hindering our progress. Is hindering us from, from, from being ushered to the place of God. Anything you need to be told, anything you need to be forced, and what's your catch show, your shell, your dada, we have to convince you to convict you to sow. Convince you to convict you to tight. Convince you to convince you to be so. You are not a Christian. Everybody is quiet. How can you have a father? The Bible said, John chapter 10, my sheep hears my voice. They hear my voice. In the New Testament, we hear God's voice. We hear God's voice. That is why you need to be told several times, come to fellowship before you come. You are missing God's voice. When we hear God's voice, nobody tells you. You just rise up because something has ushered you. Anytime that you hear the voice of God, there is greatness I will for you. A proof that you are positioned for glory is the Christ, the voice of Christ speaking to you. How can you be a Christian? You don't hear. You are so, you are so blindfolded. You cannot see, you cannot hear. When God is telling you, take this seed, go and sow. You are like, I'm waiting for the perfect time. Like, you see, he shall teach you to all truths. Teach you to all truths. Man of God has to teach you how to hear from God's voice. How? By acknowledging the spirit of God in you. That is maturity. The reason why we have spiritual immaturity and, 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 and we lack wisdom in the body of Christ is because majority of us, we are not corresponding to respond to the spirit of God in us. So anytime the spirit of God speaks to us, we cannot hear. That is why, that is why. If, let me tell you something, when your ways are not pleasing to God, men will not be pleased with you. The reason why people are having issues with your life, it is because your life is not pleasing to God. I cannot lie you. I will, the Bible says open rebuke is better than secret love. In the time that people are telling you, check your life, check your life, check, check it. That means God is not pleased. Sometimes you hear a voice. You refuse to acknowledge the voice. 
When you hear God's voice, you don't need to rise up to go and evangelize. You rise up. Learn to acknowledge the anointing that you have received from God. You see you. Learn to, have, learn to acknowledge. By so doing, you are always in union, fellowship. You share something with God. You share something. The other day, Jesus Christ, anything that I see my father doing, he sees, he hears. When Jesus Christ saw the sick, he had compassion. When he saw the, the multitude, he had compassion. There are so many things that there are even at times whereby he didn't hear. He, he was so attuned. He knew that this is the Father's will. See, there is a time you train up yourself so much to the extent that even if you don't feel, you know that it is the right thing because you are, you are, you are, you are so elevated and are synchronized with the Spirit. You don't tight. You don't sow seeds. You don't evangelize. You come to church late. You don't win souls. You don't come to church. What do you expect me to say? Who is doing you? Say it. Who is doing me? Say, who is doing me? The Bible says, for my sheep knows my voice. John chapter 10. For my sheep knows my voice. A stranger's voice, they will not follow. Whose voice are you following? When you hear God's voice, you always you are you are you are always exposed to the realities of truth. The realities, you know what to do. It is the truth. That is what God is expecting you to do. You know what to do. And what's be a first deal? You don't need to be told anytime the kids will come here. Uh, how do you call it? Um, uh, one man, two souls, two continuous, unabated. Every day saying it, and you are sitting down, and you're very here. And you're very here. Even if you are not fed up with the English, you should be fed up with the always unabated, every day unabated, every day unabated. Aren't you tired? We have to be forced. That means we are missing God's voice. We are missing God's voice. And it's a proof that we, we, are, we are missing the place of goodness. Don't be forced. Don't be forced to give. Don't be forced to tight. Don't be forced. Be, 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 be inspired by the spirit of the Lord. That is where the blessing is. The Bible said it is blessed to give than to receive. The blessing is in it's in the giver. It's for the giver. Any time that you give, there is a blessing. In the New Testament, it's about giving and receiving. You give. You give. And you give. In the New Testament, it's not about buying and selling. 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 The last thing I'll talk about is this. One of, one of the ways to also live in the kingdom is forgiveness. Shout forgiveness. Shout it again. Are you here? Are you here? Open to Matthew. verse 21 to 22. You see, I said something that you cannot leave or be led by the Spirit and full of anger. All these things, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God, right? Right? One of the easiest way to, to touch God is even, is even to forgive. Forgive. Hallelujah. There is a living and it's an awareness of the kingdom. Then came Peter. Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. 21. Open to Amplified Version. Amplified. I'm bringing my message to a close. So listen to me very carefully. Jesus answered and said. Then Peter came unto him and said, Lord, how many times may my brother sin against me? And I forgive him and let it go. As many as up to seven times. 
Hello? Seven times. Seven. I like to say seven, 70 times. Seven, seven times, but seven times seven. That's what the amplifier, I don't know which, which version you are using. 70 times seven. Okay, good. Okay, there Peter, okay. 22. Uh-huh. Jesus answered him, and, Jesus answered him, I tell you, not up to seven times, but 70 times seven. Hello? You know that seven is a number of perfection and excellence and rest. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ was revealing something to us. Let me say, by hands, those that you have been hurt, it is understandable for you to keep malice. Like the decision that you have taken, never to forgive the person. It's right. Raise up your hand. You are the presence of Jesus. So he's looking at you. You see, when the, okay, good. God show you more mercy. When you are living in the kingdom, there's an awareness of love, an awareness of forgiving, an awareness of holiness. An awareness of righteousness. There's an awareness. There's a conscious living. You're living. There is something that guides you. That's what the Lord guides you. Can I tell you something? In the kingdom, forgiveness is not... I said something. It's a choice. And I'm giving you a different revelation. Forgiveness is not an option. In the kingdom of God, forgiveness is not an option. It is a must. You have to forgive. You have to forgive. Tell the person sitting beside you that learn to forgive. If you're in the kingdom, learn to forgive. Learn to forgive. Open to Ephesians 4, verse 26. Ephesians 4, 26. Let me upstand it. Okay. When angry, do not sin. Hello? When angry, do not sin. Do not ever let your wrath, your exasperation, your fury, your indignation last until the sun goes down. In meaning, a man will go for no. A man at the end, she will go for no. So. Hello? So be your bonia. A man. That is what I'll say. Hallelujah. Now, the 70 times 7. Do you know what Jesus was trying to tell us? Jesus Christ was telling us that irresp- see, your forgiving must be boundless. Your forgiving must should be countless. Hello? Because your forgiving must come from the perfect heart. 70 times 7. A perfect heart. A, 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 a heart that forgives without any condition. Your forgiving must be boundless. That is a life of the kingdom. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Only. And he said, whosoever believes in him should not die. Only. Now, our ability to have this consciousness all shall us to greatness. Hello. Majority of us, we have a broken heart because people have for, forsaken us. We are hurt. In so doing, we are angry. The Bible says, for they cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Once you are in the kingdom, you cannot inherit the kingdom with an anger. You cannot inherit the kingdom with with, with jealousy, we strive with envy. If you are here, you have this thing. You have the opportunity to pray that, Father, forgive me. Maybe there's a brother of yours in your family who have done something to you. Maybe your father, maybe your uncle, maybe your brother, maybe your, your, your sister, maybe your husband, maybe your wife. You have vowed in your heart never to forgive him or her. The Bible says, anchor shall not inherit the kingdom living in the kingdom 
or the kingdom living and awareness such people walks in the premise of love premise of holiness premise they are led you are led to forgive you are led to forgive it is not something that you decide you are led to forgive I'm not saying if your boyfriend has done you something who is not willed who who is not the will of God who is not in the will of God you can forgive the person your boyfriend or girlfriend but doesn't mean that you go and sleep with him or he don't go and because first of all a proof that it is not of God is that you slept with him or her because there's nothing that God will never give you something and that will be corrupted as I go, may I? Do you have any Muslim? What's the language? I have a Northern Eye here. What's the language? Eh? And the Kuri. And the Kuri. What did they pronounce? A tall. Tall. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you here with me? When you are living in the kingdom. You are conscious of the things of the kingdom. How? You are led to do the things of God. One of them is to love. One of them is to do the will of God. One of them is... You, you are not forced. Maybe you are here. You are about losing the kingdom because of your hearts. You are about losing the kingdom. But if you have God inside of you, you just love unconditional. Jesus was the tithe of God. God tithes. You don't tithe. You are going to pray. Sewo. 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 Mommy, That's where the Lord told me. So when you go, tell my people this. That Father, give me a heart like yours. Give me a heart like yours that I may love just the way you love. That I may forgive just the way you forgive. Father, give me a heart like yours. The grace the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ rest upon me. Lift up your voice. Masoba da 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 ba. the consciousness of the kingdom you have to live in the kingdom maybe you are here you are not doing something right maybe you are say, you are not doing something right maybe you are here you need to be told to be forced to be forced you are not doing something right we are missing God because we are not led by the spirit 
Bible says, for they that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Even witnessing children of God. Bible says, for the things of the Spirit are foolishness. Neither can they know. Neither can they know. Maybe you are here. You have lost the voice of God. Maybe you are here. You are going to tell the Spirit of the Lord. Everybody.
Grogo shapa da da da. Saradima sora padi atala vahada. Many people are dying today because of their inability to hear God's voice. The other day, the Lord opened my eyes. There was someone who was dying. And the Spirit of the Lord told me that his heart is hardened. Now I can't tell myself, I'm funny if I want to born in Canada. Now, sir, I in There are many people here, you become exposed to demonic attack because of your heart and the life. See me. See me Father, draw closer to me. Shame me, Shame da 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 da. Bala bala da ba. Da baros ke pele gras ke pali atada ba. Ras ki paros ke pali atos ke pa. Rago shabada ba. Rago sedi atala bras ke pa. That's what the Lord has whispered to me. Say, my spirit shall not pour unto men with a stony heart. That is why the man that I have to pour out my, my spirit upon him, I need to change his heart. That is stony. There is a life of the kingdom. There's an consciousness, an awareness whereby everything we think is about God because we are led by God. Mado shavadi atabadam. Navali atomarati mararabado shava. Parado shavala na baraba. Yada wasia esado. Father, Lord, we bless you. We give all the glory for what you've done. Thank you, Jesus. For this consciousness of the kingdom. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus. Take your offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you have your tithes, you put it on the altar. I believe you've heard in this church, I will not force anybody to tithe or to sow seed because we all have to, not to adjust, we all have to avail ourselves. From henceforth, always challenge yourself to challenge God. Hallelujah. Those who are led by the Spirit are not accustomed with the conditions of their life. But 
Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We give you the glory. We thank you for what you've done. Father, may you accept this offering. May you bless it. Father, our tithe, may you accept it. And may you bless it. In Jesus' mighty we've prayed. Amen. Amen. I come from a kingdom, a beautiful kingdom, where we dance, 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 joy overflow. The rest of sorrow, the rest of weeping, where we laugh, 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 joy overflow. I come from my kingdom, say I come from my can do it better clap your hands for Jesus you can do it better clap your hands and make a holy God joyful noise lift up your voice and let the heavens hear your voice shout glory shout glory shout glory shout glory shout glory shout glory the more you jump the more you jump into your testimony you jump into your breakthrough you jump into your miracle Shout glory! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all.
If you don't do it this way, it will not be nice. In the house of the Lord, you have to shake your body. Somebody shake your body. Shake it. Shake the sickness off. Shake the sickness off. Shake the pains off. Hey, when you don't see anybody shaking his body, shake the person. Anybody who is not shaking his, shake the person. Shake the sickness. Shake the poverty. Shake the death. Hallelujah. Okay. Gabado Shabadaba. We've closed. And Wednesday, we are here for a sweet fellowship. Those of you, those of you who have been coming for the Wednesday service, you can testify that God has always been showing up. Hallelujah. God has always been showing up. Tell the person standing beside you that. Are you always here on Wednesday? I don't see you. What the person saying? Tell the person who is doing you. Hallelujah. Tell her who is doing you. Tell, tell the person the other day when David said, I was glad unto me. I, I was glad when they said unto me, Let me. Mention your name. I should come to the house of the Lord. Why are you not coming? Who is doing you? Shake the devil off. Shake it off. Hallelujah. There is gladness in the house of the Lord. Those of you have become here Wednesday. Brother, where are you going Wednesday? You say you were you were tired, right? Okay. On Friday you were here. Right, yeah. He has become a witness. This. Let's about those who were young witness. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Yes, you can see them. They are the glorious and beautiful people in the Lord, carrying God's glory. Oh, raise up, raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Raise up your. Let me see you all. Don't become for witness. They say, raise up your hand. Look at them. Don't. And they're looking beautiful. And they're looking beautiful. Look at the person that why are you not here? Who is doing you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Um, on Friday, we'll be here for our prophetic prayer to our service. A moment of prayer. We only come here to pray. Those of you who are here Friday, I believe you were blessed. We pray against anything that contends with our arrival. Those of you who are here, you know, we prayed against. I said, your arrival is the complete glory of your vision. Hallelujah. So if you miss Fridays, if you miss Wednesday, Fridays, you have, you are, you are, tell the person who is doing you. You don't come to learn. You don't come to worship. You don't come to pray. Who is doing you? So Wednesday, we are here at 7 o'clock. Friday, we are here at 7 o'clock. It's all about God. Hallelujah. I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you because today I've preached about forgiveness. Okay, let them come. I'll clap your hands. Tommy is my spirit. Hurry up. Come now. Hey. Come on. Sure. Hey, 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 hey. Give the Lord the dance. Come on. Hey. <laughs> You know dance. If you are there, so we'll so we say yes. Okay. Okay. Just give them the mic and let them testify. More grace. More grace. More grace. Praise the Lord. And now no pay me to naha. Why be pray? A dosso. On the 15th of February, I'm my wife a quiet war so. Nay easy. Radiadum. Nay easy. Nay easy. Medino call hospital and opano. 
Na wono so nenye easy. Ano pa inyi na wentimi anwo. Ewi enyi na wentimi anwo. Enyu mre. Na papa, a friend me. A friend me around 9, 5. And they call no 9, 10. 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later. And na the wife, yeah, there, a war, yeah. Tine, me tina ha, me de radiasi, me de radiasi. Why ebi, why ebi so amami? Any me busi ya. Na secondly so, me na papa, asi, because baby ana na me wano, enye easy, enye easy. Papa, yang kupon shirao. Amen. Give God the glory. Shirao. Amen. And I to members and also, me do be be asi. Ah, mo time ichi. Mo bon pa eso mami. Me da mumi na asi. Me de radia susa asi. Tine nde ano pe mi jina ha. Ye radia dom. Ne na humba asi. Na me da mo asi jina. Amen. Amen. Just start to let him interpret. What is it? More grace. More grace. What our brother simply said was that the wife in February, she went out there to go and deliver. But things were so hard. She went through a lot of things. And during that trying time, when she was in labor, he called Papa. And after Papa prayed for the wife, within a twinkle of an eye, the Lord made it possible. He made a way where there seemed to be no way. And then the wife delivered. So Amen. if he's standing here this morning, he's trying to thank the Lord God Almighty for what he's done for him and his entire family, as well as Papa, for his prayers and all the members of this household for being with them in prayer. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Now, how are you feeling when I called you? The moment I called you and I told you about what is happening, because the midwife did that, they said, the baby is, is near, but they don't know what is holding the baby inside. So when I called Papa, Papa prayed for me and told me that everything would be all right. So I, t yes. Immediately, a pastor prayed for me. I started vomiting. So I even vomit. <laughs> you vomited the la gra gra and the la gru grus. Hallelujah. It's not easy. Our mothers can testify what it takes. When he gave birth, she just called me. She was laughing. And by the grace of God, one of the testimonies you also forgot to say, which I'm remembering them because a testimony not shared. I was there, I think at dawn, in the evening, dawn. So don't people like to sleep. At dawn. When Mr. King called me that their child was dying. And the oil that once upon a time I prayed over. I don't even know when the man reached the man. And he said, before I called him, they remembered and they anointed the child. And God touched the child instantly. They called me, they said the child was not responding. And that was the time I have finished meditating and I just want to rest. That is why as man of God, it's so dangerous for you to be sleeping. At dawn, two o'clock, I really come two o'clock, three o'clock. Yeah, their whole house was on fire. Let's bless God for their lives. The life of the baby. Amen. Today is your first day coming to this place. We cannot leave you. May your testimony be permanent. Be permanent. Be permanent. Amen. Please, today is your first day coming to this place. We cannot see you off just like that. Hallelujah. Just clap your hands. Oh, clap your hands. Can do better. Wow. 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 
Clap your hands, clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. Wow, clap your hands for Jesus. Oh, wow, clap your hands for Jesus. Wow. Amen. I am seeing universities and business women here. Hallelujah. Amen. Pacho Mundani Mwichi. Mundani Mwini and Mammy Why? So what yes? Yeah, Kasabi Bray. So what yes? Na your number bomb pie. Na your poa, me shame and amen wa kasa. So what yes? Eh. Unin and amo. Way different. My name vital. Different man. Nice. Wow. A fool. Clap your hands for a fool. Wow. When we close, make sure you give a fool a thousand dollars for me. And who invited you? No one invited me. No one invited you. You came yourself. Hey. Clap your hands for Jesus. Uh huh. It's a nice. Clap your hands for Jesus. Wow. Amen. Please. Mama Anthony and Samo Moso. Yeah, bon pa. In Kra. Omumu. Na onji won free at town for she share. In sim. We are praying that God should touch them, deliver them from the hands of the enemy. In Kogo Biara Yasi Shamamu. Ya rebia ya shisha momu. E wubi ya shisha momu. E no mubushia. Ye jina yesu kiso moja ni dimu. E tu tim. Lift up your voice. Tell the Lord to preserve their life. To touch them. Tell the Lord to continue to stand with them. And to pour his blessings upon them mightily. In Jesus' mighty. Father Lord, I commit these souls into your hands. They are your people. Father, continue to love them. Show them mercy. I bind every stronghold in their life. I destroy every altar fighting against them. Every strong man, every spirit contending with your health, contending with your family in the name of Jesus. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. A woman a biya yashi shamomo. A woman a biya yedi omatu akasi di ebe katomoso. Jesus, udi munte eradicate woman. Deliver them in the name of Jesus. Yare Piara, Yase Shamao, Parosa, Fi Purosa, Oshes, Oshes, Oshes. Gavado Shabada Dabaha. Men Sam Yato, Sumanina Yakuponsa. Manakupon Angel Free. A fear in Kodria, Akunja, Hohum, Emu, Hohum, be a wofia, Etina, we need you so. Etina, we need you so. Yetina, yes, Christo demo. Ejo, a cheer about. May the power of God touch you right now. Be free in the name of Jesus. Father, may you transform the souls. Transform them. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ma. Pacho oba. Oba. Oni baba awo. Oba baba. 
Because I'm going to go to the TV. Like, I'm going to go to the TV. 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 Abai we be person what now we need Jesus. Are there now also what? Mister, you no be not if you. Pacho, Friday ya brawai. Eh, we brawai never born pay. Let Joe on go. But eh, any man I met Joe, I could pon a bad job. I said, Nia, I was a year, Nebay, Nia was a Yakupon Suyano, Obey, Sawatia, eh, Yakupon, Nia, Ope, and then your way, Sawatia, say. You make a job, say, Mawna, sing it, yet, yeah, I will fear, say. Now, it will not be a longer time, but shorter time. Yakupon, and Yunya, a bad day, you will show, and you fear. Amen. Hallelujah. When we close, when we close, you look so beautiful. Say, I'm beautiful. That's right. Say, I'm beautiful. That's right. When we close, you see the King Kingsley and have to talk with you, right? Okay. God bless you all. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. <laughs> Surely, all the days of my life, and we shall dwell with the Lord. May a glory that surpasses man's glory, may the glory of Elohim shower heavenly upon your life. This week, you shall have rest. This week, you shall have rest in the name of Jesus. This week. The Lord will terminate every demonic agenda for your testimony. Your peace is a dandel for God. Your breakthrough is a testimony for God. And he said, I will not share my glory with any man. Nothing shall stand in, in the testimony of God in your life this week. This week, go and manifest. Manifest God, whatever you are. Walk in the wills. Walk, walk and manifest the will of God. You are going to live in the kingdom and in the awareness of God. May the Lord be with you. May he shine over you. May your life be full of glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom.